Himena Vengoikia, Listen Like You Mean It, Reclaiming the Lost Art of True Connection. Welcome to Listen Like You Mean It, Reclaiming the Lost Art of True Connection, a guide that will take you on a journey to enhance your conversational skills by moving from surface listening to empathetic listening. As you dive into this summary, you'll explore key concepts such as cultivating empathy, humility, and curiosity, staying present in conversations, identifying what your partner needs, and deepening the connection through the art of asking questions. Additionally, you'll gain insights on how to adapt to different conversational styles and gracefully exit conversations when necessary. This summary is designed to provide you with valuable knowledge that will elevate your skills in fostering true, meaningful connections with others. Empathetic listening. In the book, a young researcher makes a conversational mistake during an interview, illustrating the difference between surface listening and empathetic listening. To engage in empathetic listening, you need to cultivate empathy, humility, and curiosity. Empathy involves imagining what someone else is feeling without injecting your own experiences. Humility means refraining from judgment and reassuring your partner that she can share everything. Curiosity means being open to what your partner has to say, even if it's not naturally interesting to you. Engaging in empathetic listening creates a listening loop in which partners feel free to express their emotions, and both parties are encouraged to express their own. Stay present in conversations. Being fully present is crucial to empathetic listening. To do so, observe both yourself and your partner carefully. Be mindful of your energy levels and mental state during a conversation, and pay attention to your partner's emotional indicators, such as body language, word choice, and voice tone. When you remain present and show your partner that you're genuinely interested in what he has to say, he'll be much more likely to express himself honestly. Understanding your listening style We all have our unique listening styles, and by identifying them, we can adjust them to suit the needs of our conversation partners. Whether you're an explainer, an identifier, or an interviewer, understanding your default style can help you connect better with others. To identify your conversation partner's needs, listen for hidden messages in their words. Phrases like, if only I could, or I'm doing the best I can, can indicate desires or pleas for recognition. Once you have developed a sense of their needs, switch your listening mode accordingly and suggest potential remedies. Sometimes, all your conversation partner needs is an empathetic ear. Despite feeling like you need to take action, simply listening and empathizing without sharing your own experiences can be incredibly powerful. Understanding your listening style can lead to more productive and meaningful conversations. Deepen conversations with connecting questions. In her research on storytelling, the author discovered that connecting questions are an excellent way to get quality information from conversation partners. Deepening a conversation involves framing each question neutrally to elicit an open response. The best connecting questions often start with, how, or, what, avoiding binary yes or no answers. To confirm understanding, summarize what you think you've heard and end with a question to encourage calm and respectful clarification from your partner. The, yes, and technique. Yes, and, is a well-known technique in improv comedy that encourages collaboration and twists in a scene. However, it can also be applied to everyday conversation to stay flexible and avoid rigidness. The key message is to stay open to incorporating new information and paying attention to the conversation partner's responses. Using silence can also help to encourage honest responses. By following these guidelines, conversations can be more fulfilling and lead to deeper connections. Navigating Conversational Curveballs Learn how to turn aimless discussions into productive ones by politely redirecting them back on track. During conversations, there are times when the topic might derail from its original intention. What can you do when this happens? The solution is to steer it back on track by gently redirecting it while still being polite and respectful. The author shares two anecdotes about how being mindful of the conversational dynamic has worked in her favor. In the first story, the author interviews Jordana, 
a friendly woman who seems to have her own agenda. Jordana keeps diverting the conversation towards getting free ad credits when the conversation is actually about her business. To get back on track, the author recognizes that Jordana is interested in free ad credits and assures her that she could help with that but wishes to talk about her business primarily. This gesture helped the author to re-establish her initial intent and maintain control over the conversation. In the second story, the author reminds Gabriella, who reports to her, that she had mentioned having an update to share. During their scheduled meeting, Gabriella instead talks about ongoing projects and avoids discussing the update until the author forces it out of her. By reminding her about the update, the author directs the conversation back to its original purpose, allowing Gabriella to share that she was resigning. These examples show how redirection can subtly remind another person of what's important in a conversation and can help move towards an effective resolution. In summary, politely redirecting a conversation when it diverts can help you get back on track, maintain control over it, and encourage others to contribute to the intended purpose of the discussion. Mastering Conversations Conversations can be tricky, especially when communicating with individuals from different backgrounds, gender, hierarchy, or emotional states. Misunderstandings arise when conversing with people who have diverse cultures, norms, and values, such as New Yorkers' conversational style, which may be perceived as rude in other parts of the U.S. Similarly, gender and hierarchy differences in conversation styles can create misunderstandings. Consider creating a safe space for a conversation partner when you have more power and imagining your conversation partner as a fellow human being when you have less power. When discussing taboo topics like politics or religion, expect discomfort and aim for mutual understanding instead of seeking agreement. Have a strategy to calm yourself when conversations touch upon particular hotspot topics. Being mindful of your differences and potential areas of misunderstanding can reduce the likelihood of awkward conversations and improve overall communication. Exiting conversations gracefully. Many of us struggle with setting boundaries, which can negatively impact our relationships when we fail to exit conversations gracefully. It's essential to learn how to recognize toxic conversations and prioritize your emotional and mental well-being. Timeboxing and taking a timeout are effective techniques to exit conversations without damaging relationships. After any conversation, it's crucial to recover from the drain of empathy listening to avoid burnout and exhaustion. Honoring your limits is necessary to retain the capacity to listen and care for others. Having explored Listen Like You Mean It, you should now have a better understanding of the importance of empathetic listening and how to approach conversations with intention, focus, and genuine engagement. Key takeaways include cultivating qualities like empathy, humility, and curiosity being fully present and attuned to your conversation partner's emotions, and deepening connections through thoughtfully crafted questions. Moreover, it is crucial to remain flexible, practice self-awareness, and show respect while communicating with people from different backgrounds or with different communication styles. Remember to establish boundaries and prioritize self-care to avoid listeners' drain. Ultimately, implementing these principles will allow you to forge deeper, more meaningful connections, enriching both your personal and professional relationships.